<clears throat> okay. I wasn't sure if the parentals were going to be traipsing through our room or not, so hello everybody. We're back to pick up where we left off yesterday, though I just realized I needed to change that. Let me see if that updated. It may not have. Okay, that updated there. It may not have updated in the other part, but I can go back and fix that later. Alright, so. <clears throat> Here we are. And now, we're going to be picking back up where we left off yesterday. I am going to be slightly distracted today, so have to keep an eye on the weather because we've got some potentially shitty weather coming in, so I do apologize ahead of time for that. But let's see what we can get done. We actually got a fair amount done yesterday, all things considered, so um, I did end up having that migraine last night. I was like, damn it, I just couldn't couldn't hold it off, and so I was pretty sick last night afterwards, so if my voice sounds a little meh, I'm still dealing with the after effects, but at least I'm not incapacitated like I was, so I'm going to try and get done what we can get done, and uh, we'll go from there, basically. So, we're gonna pick back up where we need to. Hold on, you guys. Sorry, guys. Okay, so let's see. I guess we'll kind of plop you in here and uh, work on covering up this patch. So it didn't quite cover up all of it that I wanted to, now that I'm in here looking at it. Alright, so I hope everybody's having a good Monday. <coughs> Things are starting to return back to somewhat normal routines. So this felt's not doing too bad. I was a little unsure how it was gonna handle the um, the fluff going through it since 
the sticker said it was that partial um, recycled bottles used in it, but you know what? It's doing just fine. I haven't noticed too much of a difference. It is a little bit um, thicker and a little bit stiffer, at least on this color. Um, than some of the other colors I picked up because, you know, it's not the super stiff felt that you can get where it's, it's like really hard because um, there's the stiff felt and then there's the regular felt. Um, but you know how some of the regular felt can be really super like floppy? Like fish out of water floppy where you just, you know, and it just kind of bleh. This is, um, this has got a little bit more of a body to it, I guess we can say. This particular shade. Some of the other shades I have are a little bit more floppy. And they're a little bit um, softer. But I don't know if that's like the older ones that didn't have the bottles in it or if that's just like a shade thing. And, and that might vary per, per felt batch too. I know when I was merchandising the kids crafts department back in the day. Um, and I was putting the felt orders out as they came in. Some, some batches would be a little bit more than others. I mean, this one's a little bit thicker than some of the other floppy ones, so that could just be a thickness thing. Probably is. But, hang on, my eyes are all gunky. Give me one second here. Woke up not that long ago, so... Bear with me here a second. Trying to get my systems up and running here. Kind of hard to do anything if I can't see, so. Alright. It's up to 73, you guys. What is happening? It's 73 right now. No wonder they're saying we're going to get this terrible weather in a little bit. Um, they've already put up a tornado watch just to our south. Um, and now it's vanished again. There it is. So our tornado watch is a little to our south and a little to our east. Um, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that and make sure they don't throw us in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, as of right now, we seem to be... Whoop! Don't stab my boobs, please. That would not be a fun time. Not into that. Okay, so. That would not be fun for me or anybody else involved. All right. That's why I tend to stab into the mat when I have to put this thing down. So it doesn't roll away on me like that and fall off and stab me in the leg or something. That would be terrible. Especially with my mat not sitting flat right now. But I'm determined to use this thing until I can't use it anymore. Since my other replacement mat idea that I could have done with stuff that we had around the house fell through. So. I'm going to make this work. what we can make happen. And I can't tell if what I just heard was a siren, a really unhappy dog howling, or a child yelling. Because we've got two different fans running, and it's a little windy. 
I've got my earbuds in, so I'm not sure what that noise just was. So I don't know how concerned I should be. Buy that noise. It seems to have stopped. So there's a dog in the area. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a dog in the area that sounds like a small child screaming. When it starts howling or something, and it is so creepy. It kind of freaks us out. Because Russell took Momo out to pee at like four in the morning this morning because he was having trouble sleeping and Momo's like, hey, you're up. I want to go pee. And Momo almost started joining in. We're like, no, 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 no. We're not doing that this time of day. Is everything okay? Yeah. So the mother-in-law's back. And, um, she's brought chaos with her, as usual, so we're having to, uh, re-teach her certain things. Hmm? Nothing. Sure everything's okay? It's as good as it's going to be. Do I need to stop? No. Okay. Hold on a second, guys. I gotta see what's going on. Alright, sorry guys. Just trying to keep track of everybody and what the hell is going on. A lot easier said than done. Some days, that's for sure. Alright, let's get a little bit more of our fluff. I didn't end up fluffing more blue last night because, again, migraine, and that was going to be a little too jarring for me, so. chilled out and just kind of sat in my own little world of agony last night so I didn't get really anything done, didn't get any video editing done, didn't, didn't do anything. <clears throat> so that was Cal. I don't know where he went, I just heard him. It sounded like he was behind me and I turned around and he was gone. for hoping this year was filled with less chaos. Thanks so much for that. Oh, good lord. Right, okay. 
So things are a bit chaotic around here on a good day. Today doesn't look like it's a good day. Husband didn't get much sleep last night. Weather's coming in. I'm getting over a migraine. Both sets of parents are here. Parents are getting pissy. So there may be interruptions today and I do apologize, but you know what? That's life when you don't live in a household on your own and you've got other people that you need to keep an eye on. These little tiny guys filled in where we've got these little breaks showing up. So like I said, it's just a lot easier to deal with them now than to try to go back and fill them in later. I mean, we already have this color out. We might as well. There have been times in the past where we've had to go in and um, fill in uh, splits and um, breaks in the background color. And we still might have to do that as um, things transpire. But, you know, we'll, we'll get what we can now ahead of time. There's no reason why we can't. This is not a step that you necessarily have to do, it's just something that I do. <coughs> <clears throat> where um, it just it helps things sit <clears throat> losing my voice again there we go sorry where it just helps things sit a little bit flatter and um, just makes them a little bit easier to deal with and then with this mat I've learned over the projects that um, if I don't pull it up every so often we end up attaching ourselves to the mat because this really wasn't made for what I'm doing, but it's it's what we're using. So, I mean, it's made for needle felting, but like not like large scale stuff. So, ideally, I would love to get a bigger mat, but I don't think they come any bigger. At least not that I saw. I'd have to really go hunting for one. But the 8x10 mat might be as big as we're gonna get. Sorry, I couldn't tell if that was the way the light was hitting off of that or if that was the split starting to show up. But yeah, this is working out pretty nice. So this is our front side, this is our back side. Alright. So just grabbing a bit of yarn that we've pre-fluffed. It just makes more sense for how much we use the fluff to have it ready to go. Uh, so there is a video on the YouTube channel. It should be the first one on the Nisi Needle Felts list, uh, playlist that shows how um, how I prep the yarn. If you are interested in using the yarn instead of roving, um, the yarn's a lot more budget friendly for me. Um, with all of the colors that I use than the roving and I there's a lot 
larger color selection, I find, um, in the yarn than there is in the roving. However, you could probably try to dye some of the roving to um, get specific colors that you're trying to get if you're having trouble finding it. Um, that's a little more steps than I really want to do myself personally. Um, and then, you know, if I can find the color in the yarn, then I'm just going to go with the yarn. Because I really don't have the funding to experiment with uh, dyeing the roving and, and all that. I'd rather just just sit there and fluff the yarn. So I still have quite a few colors I need to get through, although I did see that I accidentally picked a color that I already had. Didn't think I had it, but apparently I did. And um, one of the colors accidentally got two ordered of instead of one. But that's okay. We'll still use it. It's not a big deal. I still have plenty more yarn to get fluffed. That's for certain. And that is a small split there. So let's go ahead and we'll take care of that right now. Get this guy all figured out and put into place in here. So I haven't bent this needle yet. This is the one that broke when we were this isn't the this isn't the broken one, but this was the one that I had to replace when we were working on Reggie. Reggie's gonna have to find a new home because we have to take the Christmas tree down either tonight or tomorrow, depending on how we're feeling. Outside stuff came down yesterday. I'm gonna be sad to see my my nightlight go in the uh, other room, but it's that time of year. If I could get away with leaving it up year round and decorating it for different holidays and stuff, I totally would, but that's okay. The cats have destroyed it enough for for one holiday season. If I leave it up any longer, they're gonna try to start climbing it. It's not that sturdy, so we'll be putting the Christmas tree to bed soon. I was really sad, like so many people, like day after Christmas, Christmas lights turned off, and I was like, wow, that was fast. The neck of the woods that I'm from, people tended to leave them up at least until New Year's. I mean, you put that much work into putting them up. Seems a shame to take them down so quick. But I mean, I get it, electric bills and all that. But still, it makes our walks a lot sadder now. this guy up just 
to pull the fibers in a little bit more on top of themselves and uh, make things sit a bit better. And not a tremendous amount, but you know, a bit. <clears throat> so how is everybody doing today? Hope your day's been less chaotic than mine, considering I only have been up for maybe an hour and a half. If that. So I hope everybody's doing alright. of the things. This still looks very black and I'm very surprised. This is a navy blue, a very dark navy blue. The, um, the exact color is called dark denim. I don't know if this color is still available. Because the last time I was looking at yarn from um, from uh, Joann's, they were discontinuing some of the colors in that line, which I wasn't too happy about because several of them were ones I had purchased. I'm like, well, I guess I won't be replacing that exact color with the same thing when I run out of that, so. I mean, it happens, if, you know, colors not that popular or doing that well in sales, and then you know some colors are just on a seasonal chopping block, I suppose. Sort of thing, so. Alright, let's see about where we're sitting here. For today so far. Just do a quick weather check because my radar stopped updating. Alright, and everything's still kind of south to us. They did change it so that we were in the enhanced risk of severe weather. That was new when I woke up. We were only in slight risk when I went to bed. Albeit, I tried to pass out early. I was in bed before midnight last night, so you know I'm not feeling well <laughs> if I'm in bed that early. But um, when I had laid down, we were still in slight. When I woke up, they had moved us into enhanced risk, and I was like, ooh, I don't like that. And I also don't like the fact that it got up 73. So that means it's going to have some instability to work with here, so. Hmm. It's pretty breezy out there now. I don't think there's anything we can do to secure our recycling any more than we already have. We've got recycling out in the buckets, so we can't really stack them on top of each other because I couldn't keep the recycling in the house anymore because we were, um, We were falling over it where we were keeping it, so I'm like, well, shit. That's not gonna work, friends. So, I did have to stick that out before I really wanted to. So, it's 73 right now. Do you know what our low is gonna be? Do you? Shall we, shall we go look? 73 right now. Feels like 73. 
our low for tomorrow is going to be 32. It was in the 20s. They raised it a little bit. But then we'll be... After the weather today, we'll be dry. Or mostly dry for like another week, so... That's something, I suppose. So yeah, if you're in my neck of the woods, make sure that you're keeping an eye on your weather reports and stuff. I've already seen a couple severe thunderstorm warnings get issued down south. And around Little Rock. We're not near Little Rock. Little Rock's a good three, four hour drive from us. Which is why we go to the zoo in Oklahoma instead of the one in Arkansas, because it's too far of a drive. Besides, I'm not a fan of Little Rock. Like, nothing about the people there, it's just I don't like the traffic. Traffic around there on the interstate scares the shit out of me. It's so chaotic. Although, I'll tell you, you want to talk about scary roads for someone that's not used to being on large roads. We went through Atlanta when we were going to Florida, and oh my god, that was a shock. So many lanes on the interstate. That was, that was intimidating. Oh my god. Wow. I didn't know they made roads that wide. I was like, holy shit. Like, what is this? What is this madness? Fortunately, the time of day we went through there, the traffic was really light. So it was pretty smooth sailing, but still, it was kind of intimidating for this little muffin. That was crazy. So crazy. Alright, so we've almost got our background color finished being filled in. And see how much nicer. I'm sorry, I swear it looked like the lights blinked. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on? Maybe it didn't. It's not storming here yet, so if anything, it would have been the wind. That was crazy. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, see, see how much nicer our edges are so far? There's, sh well, I mean, this one's not quite straight, but that's mean. We'll fix that when we get there. But, I mean, they're not all uneven. That's because we were able to work on the, um, we were able to have this border. We weren't right up on the edge. Like some of the other ones where I've been fighting and it's like all zigzaggy and stuff, so. So far, that's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So we don't have tornado sirens in our area any longer. Um, there might be, like, like the sirens themselves 
might still be there, but they don't use them anymore. Um, cause at least in our town, they, they have them in the other towns near us. I think Fayetteville still has them and I think Rogers and Springdale might still have them because sometimes they'll put out a notice saying that they're going to be testing the sirens, but our town doesn't use them anymore. Uh, we've gone to a phone call system, which they've found to be a bit more effective because the sirens really only work if you're outside. Um, so you can't guarantee you're going to hear it in your house because most houses are soundproof and stuff, so ours isn't, but, uh, you know. So, I mean, so if we get a phone call later, I mean, we're not in anything yet. They were originally saying stuff was going to start popping off around 11, but then it got pushed back. <laughs> so, I don't know if they were being overly cautious putting us in the enhanced risk for our county or not. <clears throat> I guess we'll see. There's um, still a long ways to go because they were saying we could have weather through like 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Snotty throat. Sinuses are real today, man. It's like spring around here all of a sudden. If it keeps up this much longer, the daffodils are going to be popping up saying, yo, what's up? And then realizing that somebody punked them. Because... It's gonna get cold again. So we will see what happens. But I don't like these sudden rapid changes. They don't do me any favors, that's for certain. So we just got that little bit left. We need to fill in there. I guess it's looking a little navy. A little bit. Oh, ow. My goodness. I do need to get new headphones. Because the ones I got are starting to become very painful to use. On the inside of my ear. And I can't do the bulky padded over the head things. For shits and giggles I tried Russell's on last night and I'm like, oh no, 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 this is too much. Too bulky, too heavy, too intrusive. It was just like, nope, 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 nope. So I think I might need to get like the smaller old style like Walkman headphones that were like nothing to them. I might have to go with that kind of style if I do go over the head. Which I might have to. Just to give this one spot on my ear a rest. Because it's not been happy. <clears throat> For some reason it doesn't do it on the other ear, just on the one where there's this little spot where like the outer edge of the earbud I guess is rubbing or pushing on it and it's making it sore. So whenever I accidentally almost pull them out of my ears 
I definitely feel it. <laughs> it's like, oh, ow. Let's not... Let's not do that. Is that a split? No, it was just the way the light was hitting that. Alright, so. Hmm, it looks like we didn't... There's a gap there. Why? Did that just not get... Tapped in? Huh. Oh. Alright. So, there's our base background color. It looks like I didn't end up using all of the dark denim I had prepped, but I definitely will need to refill that bag, because we, we used a good amount of it. We used at least, at least half, if not two-thirds, of what was in there. Alright, so I'm going to put that aside. Now, we're going to grab our medium gray. This is also from Big Twist. And... Sorry, there was something in the fiber and I don't know what it is. So I want to get it out of there. That's my little trash bin there. Alright, so this is what we're going to use as our light color in the sky. Oh wait, where's my sketch? Where's my sketchbook? Let me pull out our our test sketch that we did when we were working out the colors and things. Oh, that's the other stuff. Okay. So so we had the dark denim for the, the background of the sky, and then we had the medium gray as our light areas. So that's what we're going to work on next. Let me open up this drawer and set that in there so we have something to reference. Alright. Now this can probably be a little more willy-nilly. Alright. Um, so we've got a tree here. It's gonna come like all the way down to here. Um like another tree, so like here. We've got our ridgy line about here. Um, Alright, so maybe about in here is where we're going to start to put this in. And this is kind of just like wintry nighttime clouds, so I'm okay if there's, you know, holes in the gray and letting the, the navy spark through. Let's not stab our finger. That would not be... <clears throat> a fun time there. So we'll start to work this in. Just getting this first one kind of put in there. And because I'm working on the out in, it's going to like pull itself inward, so I should probably be working from in out. But we'll get there. We will get there in the end, one way or another. So 
So this is just going to take a little bit of fussing. So see right in there, we're starting to have some, some navy shine through. That's fine. If you don't want the navy shining through there, just grab some more of your, um, your dark gray, your medium gray, excuse me. And just kind of slap it in over top. Now I might not like how this is looking here. I might try to do something a little different where we're a little more solid. That's also possible. We can change our minds just by adding a little more fluff onto here. So if you want the breaks in there, cool. But now that I'm putting this in, I think I do want it a little bit more solid in there. in this area. We'll work on getting that put in. My finger's just there to try to keep it from getting a little too bunched up and gathered up and stuff. And we should be just fine. Pretty good so far. Still have a little ways to go on that though. This way. And this might come down a little bit closer to our um, horizon line here still. So we'll work on getting that stuff done. Hold on one second, you guys. Sorry. Like I said, trying to explain to the parentals that, hey, I'm doing something on the internet for a few hours. Don't bother me. Unless it's important. Doesn't work. Alright. So let's 
pop that up. I'm just gonna re-flatten that guy down a bit. Alright, so grab a bit more of our foofa stoof. Alright, that's starting to look a little more navy now. On the camera at least. Head and we'll... Now I'm not doing a snake on this one. I'm just kind of doing a little fluffy ball. And let's see. I'm gonna kind of take this up this way. Get that sorted there. Ooh, that's nasty. Hmm. We're like sandwiched between two weather systems, so like we're we're here. We've got a, a line coming from this way across to Oklahoma, and then we've got a line from here drifting up from the south. Oh boy, it's not gonna be a fun time tonight. I need to put that flashlight on the charger. I think. Yeah, let me do that. Oh. It got real dark all of a sudden. Oh, it's been getting dark. Like it was bright sun shiny sun here a minute ago. Where's that flashlight? Just kind of hit me that, hey, the sun that was hitting my monitor vanished. Oh boy. It's gonna be uh, interesting. the animals. Alright. Okay, we got that taken care of. I have a uh, rechargeable flashlight, so I know it's not at full charge, and I don't know how much is on there. It's got two different brightness settings. So I just want to get that guy on the charger right now. While I'm thinking about it, probably be a good idea. Most likely. Was that thunder? Sounded like a distant boom. Well, oh, maybe it was somebody's car stereo. Alright. So like I said, we'll we'll go until we we can't anymore. Or it's time to stop for the day. But I did start early today just because not knowing what the weather was going to be doing. Probably not a bad idea. In case things turn sideways and I need to go monitor warnings and stuff. Just a little bit. Because that was starting to uh, attach a little more than I wanted it to be. With my aim today, I should probably just get my hand out of there altogether. Probably for the best. 
just gonna keep putting in our lighter dark area. Now he used titanium white and was playing off of the liquid black that he put in. So since that's not really gonna work for us in this instance, that's why I went with the navy, the dark denim on the background. If you have like a multitude of different shades of, of grays and things and you want to do the black in the background by all means, go ahead. This just seemed the easier approach on this one. To, to handle this. And to be perfectly honest, the way the camera was hitting it and the lighting in the studio, I really did think he did like Prussian and black mixed together. When I was just looking at it. At the, uh, the finished one. Flatten that guy down. So that's not looking too bad. Alright, so this needs. Oh, oh shit. There's a tornado warning. Not for us, though. Um, that's gonna be for North Central Logan County in western Arkansas and western Johnson County in western Arkansas until 3 p.m. So if you're in those counties, you need to take cover, guys. Right now. That's still a bit to our south. Ooh, southeast. But not that far away. But yeah, take take cover if you're in those areas. You want to be weather aware. All right, let me just look at my options here. All right, so I'm gonna take this up to the edge line here. So. I am going to turn this just so I can see the edge here. I was leaning over, it was getting a little bit um, obnoxious there. So we're going to be turned sideways for just a minute. Now that those two counties that just had the um, tornado warning issued for, they are in the tornado watch box. So we have not been put into that watch box just yet. Kind of surprised. Um, I'm thinking it's only a matter of time with how windy out it is and stuff already. We'll see. I've got shoes and pants and dog harnesses at the ready. Should we need to do anything? Oh. 
I don't think I added a third gray into the sky. I don't think I did. I don't have any notation of doing so in the uh, in the little notes that I made on our test sketch. So I think the sky was just these two colors. As far as I can tell. that up. Oh, that's not looking too bad there. Alright, now. Oh, did they change it to a severe thunderstorm warning? No, it's still a tornado warning. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of, yeah, I'm going to take this down a little bit lower, kind of to our horizon line here. As best as we can, at least. I mean, we're gonna have trees sitting in front of this and over top of it and stuff, so we just kind of want this to be peeking through our branchy booze. can't tell if that was somebody's trailer or if that was thunder. I've got the window open behind me, which is why I'm trying to listen for it. So I don't want it raining in the window and stuff. Alright, so how's your day going, guys? Is your day going to be as chaotic and nerve-wracking as mine, or are things nice and calm and quiet in your neck of the woods? I always hope everybody's having a better day than me. Because if you're having a day like mine, then I'm so sorry, friend. <laughs> so, so sorry. No one should be subjected to the chaos that is my everyday. <laughs> you guys get exposed to it enough during streams. You don't need any extra on that. Oh, hey, could you check that pot? <coughs> yeah, I'll check it for a second. Thank you. Excuse me. Might need to um, stir it real good. Because I think when I started that, the little meat chunks were all still attached to each other. Making stew for dinner. from a pack of beef cubes that we had thrown into the uh, freezer. And I was still kind of not fully functioning when I was trying to put that on the stove to get that going. 
before we got started here, and I'm just like, meh. So, it's like, oh, hey, wait, that was still very much frozen. It's probably still very much stuck together. We should probably do something about that. I'm using the tiny pot, not the Dutch oven, so there wasn't enough in there to bother breaking out the Dutch oven for, I didn't feel. And the lid on that particular pot is not exactly as tight as it could be. I'll tell you, you can feel a change in that wind temperature <coughs> already. Too bad there. It's starting to look like something. starting to rain. Okay. Hold on. Let me deal with the window. I thought I heard something pinging that didn't fit. Like it just it didn't fit in the background. I wasn't sure if it was leaves blowing in the driveway or what that was, but no. I see the raindrops on the window now. I don't want it to rain in in the window, so <laughs> all right, so this we're gonna take up this way. This is just kind of however you want it to be, like Bob says, it's your world. Just kind of go for it. So if you don't want your sky with that many light spots in it, then don't. If you want it lighter than this, then go lighter. I'm not sure if I'm going to add another light layer to these clouds. I just don't know. I'm still kind of thinking about it. We potentially could, but I don't know if I want my sky to be quite that bright. And that's going to be a call on your end. Mm. 
I feel like let's play. Let's play Find the Shapes. Yeah, it's definitely raining now. Let's play Find the Shapes in the Clouds. That looks like a dinosaur. Arr. This is fun too to do and can be pretty relaxing if you put on some quiet music and just kind of zone out and focus on what you're making. Though if you do have to be somewhere or do something at a certain time, I would suggest setting an alarm to remind you when you need to be done by because you can lose quite a bit of time in here. Not necessarily a bad thing unless you have to be somewhere <laughs> or something needs to get done by a specific time. But it is possible to, to lose a good chunk of time in here working on this stuff. Alright, that spot's not fully attached yet, but that's okay. Because I'm going to come back in with a little bit more. <coughs> to that. So I'm kind of looking between our what, what Bob Ross has done, our tutorial there, and kind of checking back on what we did for our sketch. I'm kind of trying to do something between the two here. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and we're going to turn this a little bit just so I can Get our upper edge here without getting a little too crazy. So it helps to be able to see what the heck I'm doing up here. things to be sitting. And it's okay if it's not right up on the edge, but I'm just trying to get as close as I can without Too much fuss in here. Not getting things too uneven. end up adding a little bit more of the shade around in here just to make it a little more solid. In a couple of spots.
come back in here and start working that bit in. As best as we can. That was thunder. It wasn't very loud, but it was definitely the start of something. It's really raining, though. I mean, we need the rain. Definitely need the rain. Trying to get us back past our um, drought issues and whatnot. Because even though we had a little bit of snow before Christmas, it wasn't very much. And we were still kind of flirting the line a little bit. I mean, we're doing better, but we could definitely use some more. I can't complain about that. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna get some more in there. Excuse me. At least we're not dropping frames yet today, so that's good. I didn't even realize that we had been yesterday. We didn't drop that many. So it was just a minor hiccup. So that was good. Getting this one into here. And I'm kind of letting it do what it wants to a degree. But at the same time, I still want to try to shape the outer edges a little bit. As much as we can. Oh, two tornado warnings now. The second one <coughs> is very much south of us. Very much south. So let's see what that one's all about. So this one goes until 3.30 central p.m. for Central Perry, <coughs> Central Perry County, North Central Garland County, Northwestern Saline County, and um, 
Yeah, it looks like that's radar indicated, so if you lived anywhere in those counties, you might want to uh, be taking cover. They still haven't put us in any watches. We are still sitting on the outside of the watch boxes. So maybe they readjusted where the risk was going to be. I mean, we have a pretty nasty storm that keeps looking like it's falling apart and then reforming into a different shape. It's done it about five different times now as I'm sitting here, but it's trying to form over us. I'm not real sure if we're going to get a piece of this sucker or not. I mean, it's definitely raining. But I don't know if we're going to get anything more than that right now. So it's pretty much a uh, waiting game at the moment. <coughs> I'm just making sure that's laying flat. It'll make things a little bit easier for us on this side. Alright, so I think I want to take this over a little bit further. smaller. Right, I'm going to fill in that spot in there. That was just a little too thin for my liking. That's a little better. And then this guy will just kind of take up this way. I feel like I've lost a day this week, and I don't know how. <laughs> I keep feeling like yesterday was Monday, and today is Tuesday. And I keep like mini panicking myself because something needed to get done on Tuesday. And I'm like, oh my god, it didn't get done. And, <laughs> like, it's only Monday, calm down. Oh, I hate that feeling of losing a day when I didn't lose a day. And it just throws me off for the rest of the week. So annoying. Alright. So yeah, you might hear the traffic picking up a little bit more in the background. Sorry, can't help that. Busy road, yada yada yada. House is old and not really soundproof. Right. Now let's see here. Right, that's that's looking pretty good there. Um let's see. I think we'll do maybe one more bit maybe 
kind of like up into here where it kind of broke off from the other stuff. Kind of deal, and then we'll probably leave that be. I don't want this side too much lighter. Not really. Do I need uh -huh. to get it? No, I need help to hook up your dad's neutralizer. Okay. I'm not quite sure what the issue was. Fill that in just a little bit more. It's a little too empty in the middle there for me. one spot in this other big section that I want to fill in here too. Like right around in here. I'm just just a little thin guy right there. I'm not even sure if we're really going to see him once we get everything else worked in, but you know, I just didn't feel like we would have a thinner spot there necessarily. Let's just kind of work on getting that boy in there. Soothing sounds of snow and gravel crunching. All right. No. If I didn't have to worry about so much background noise and stuff, we could do needle felting ASMR. But with all the interruptions and things, kind of difficult to do. And they're still going with that. Oh, oh, the block. Oh, oh, the box has been filled in. Does that mean it's confirmed? Or did they just extend it? There's two different tornado warnings for the same area. Oh, okay. They're, they're, they're canceling it. That's, that's why. They're saying that that storm has weakened. Oh, good. Very good. Hopefully there weren't any issues. Because, you know, sometimes they they change the color on them on live TV. Like the... And uh, the, the color of the box will change if it's confirmed. 
and it went from like being transparent to solid and I was like oh what does that mean but it looks like they're gonna cancel that one so good very good all right where am I at here and I kind of want a little guy right around in here not gonna be too fussed with this one because there's gonna be a tree that's gonna cover two-thirds of this if not all of it and then that's probably good for these background clouds And we can advance the tutorial here. And I think he's working on trees next. So we might have to bust out another color of fluff and stuff here. So I think as we go, I'm going to just add the colors that we're using. I have a little like curtain divider that blocks off the um, my desk area in case I'm working on something late so that the light doesn't bother the husband and stuff. I think I might start clipping the colors that we're using for this project to there so I don't have to keep getting up and uh, losing track of them and all that. So, alright, that's going to be good for that color for right now. So let me set our dark denim to the side. I'm going to close our medium gray. I do wonder if they prematurely put us in the enhanced block for no reason. Alright, let me grab the black. From the wall of fluff. Okay. It's not that far away, but it does mean we need to interrupt flow to go and grab it. So, we've got that. Now, let's go ahead and I do have the audio muted on this, so if you want to watch the tutorial in full, um, Link should be in the chat there. Alright, so he's just blending out the titanium white that he put in there. Alright, so he's mixing a black. He calls it a dark gray, I think, but I guess it would be like equivalent to almost Payne's gray, maybe. It, it's, it looks black when he's putting it up there. It doesn't look very, very gray to me. So he's going to start putting in some tree shapes here that are going to kind of end along this tree. 
tree along this horizon line, so he's kind of... Putting them in there. Hang on, let's, let's let it go a little bit further. So we can see what he's going to do next. So he's picking up titanium white. Right? And then he grabbed that gray color. That looks very blue. What the heck? Oh, see there it looks green. Okay, so he starts to put... Oh. So where's he cut that off? He's cutting that off at the same horizon line. So then he's putting that tree in that we're going to put in over here. Except this one. He brought down to about there. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Those were two different trees. Okay. And I don't want to go... Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I don't remember seeing those. Oh, okay, that's those trees. All right. Okay. Okay, all right, so let's... Let's back that boy up. Um, Cause he just kind of took off on that. All right. Look, we're taking the paint off the canvas just like that. All right, there's a split second in here. Where he gets his hand out of the way. Dang it. it. It's so quick. There we go. Alright, so we'll start to uh, work with that, I guess. So he used that dark gray that he made. It really looks black to me, so or like a green black. So all we really have is black black, so that's what it's gonna be. I don't have a gray that dark. Alright, so I'm just gonna make some little fiber snakes here. Just to try to get some like tree trunky action happening. So these aren't super tall. So I'm trying to think, because he's going to have some other, we've got this tree coming in over here, he brings that down pretty far though, um, 
These guys are just kind of kind of chilling here, so I think maybe you will start. Maybe there. This is just sort of my center point of reference on this guy. He didn't he didn't do like the traditional like fan brush pine tree like he usually does, so. We can get this all tapped into there. He's a little crooked, but that's okay. We're going to tap in our loose ends from our trim there. Right, so there's that. I'm going to set that to the side. You behave, sir. All right. Get this a little <coughs> bless you, <coughs> bless you, <coughs> bless you. Sorry. You're okay. Do you need tissues? I don't know if I gave them back to you. Oh, you took them back. Okay. Alright. So, now... Just gonna... Maybe we should work at the bottom and then work our way up. That might be the... Better way to do this. Get that tapped into there. sure that we're giving him enough of a base here. That's the, the real struggle. to get those shapes and angles in there. As best as we can.
So there will probably be some breaks and things where you're seeing like the navy and stuff. Popping through and that's okay. It wasn't real, real precise with these trees. a little thin. That's going to be our tree trunky one. So I'm just kind of sneak in and then stretch it out just a little bit. side of the tree is a little bit wider, it would seem. Wait, oops. Oops, the doodles. Alright, so then we'll pull this guy. into here. Right, I am going to bring that down just a little bit. I don't quite want that much gray shining on through. Here we go again with the with the spam stuff. I think. certainly doesn't make me want to participate in what they're trying to spam me about. See, they make it so hard to try to do reports on stuff, because then they're like, include timestamps. It's like, you should be able to see it since I'm reporting the thing. Um,
Okay. I can't type with the finger doodles on, so I have to take them off. Alright, now. Hmm, yeah, we're just on the edge of it. The sun's coming back up. This is crazy. If the sun's coming back out, then I am going to reopen the window. It is hot as heck in here. Put that fan on, put all of it on. One of those chaotic days, you guys. What can I say? Alright. So, just making a fiber sneak. That's all we're doing. I don't want it too thin, because then it's just going to kind of disappear into darkness here. But I suppose we could be... Taking it like down and around, like kind of doing our little V shapes. as we can. I mean, eh, we probably could have started at the top and worked our way down. Whichever it's gonna be. easier for you really because he's kind of hard to see there against everything else that we got happening here you okay uh -huh. do you want me to get him Awfully wet out, Momo. I think he's feeling the warm temperatures and wants to be chilling outside, except it's rained now. And he can't really be chilling outside. So maybe we should have done a little bit more light. Well, medium gray to the sky here. Okay. 
but I think it'll be alright once we start getting our other layers put in here. Whoop, careful, careful. Needle got stuck in the uh, in the felt there for a second. side here. Trying to get that sorted up there. as we can. Oh, and there's Little. Oh my goodness. Everybody wants Russell. Do I need to get him? No. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just Oh. When you come back in, would you be able to do those potatoes, or do I just yeah. need to get them today? Alright. Ow! Don't twitch! <laughs> she says, pay attention to me! <laughs> she will get your attention one way or another. Bitey McBite pants over there. Not quite sure why she's being so feisty all of a sudden. But she certainly is. crooked tree here. That's alright. That's fine. It can be a crooked tree. Not every tree can be super straight and stuff. look fake if every tree was super straight, wouldn't it? Like, in nature, not. I mean, obviously it's a fake tree with what we're doing here, but. Oh, you weren't supposed to be quite so tall. Oh, you're that tall now. This guy, I'm gonna start at the top. And kinda work our way down a little bit. Just kinda see. What we end up with here. Alrighty. So we've got this guy. Oh. 
this guy here. I'm gonna kind of keep a hold on that just so it doesn't get too carried away. Flatten that out there a bit. Alright, that's not too bad. So, you know, we're gonna have our misshapen tree grove here. Because that's how we do things. Between my crooked neck and everything. What's that? Should have known. Should have known. Yeah, we're like on the edge of this. Maybe we're not going to get that much of this. I was going to say, what I saw, the weather only has uh, really getting rain for like an hour before it dropped down to like under 20%. They keep changing it. Unless we're going to get more later tonight. Because I was seeing the possibility of thunderstorms like up until 11 p.m. tonight. Yeah, they've changed it about three different times. Which is kind of annoying, because they get you all in a tizzy, saying, oh, it's going to be a severe impact day, and then we're like, oh boy, and then... I guess for some people it was, but it wasn't anybody in this immediate area that our news covered. But I guess they have to cover their own asses to a degree, too, I suppose. Sometimes it's just easier to snip it than to weave it back over to the other side. Sometimes. Depends on how big the piece is that we've got left in our hands. to the other side of our tree friend here. So we have a couple of these. That we're gonna have to work into here. As we go, oh, now we're in the tornado watch. Hello. That's surprising. How late's this going for? Tornado watch two is in effect until 10 p.m. Central. 
for Benton, Carroll, Crawford, Franklin, Madison, Sebastian, and Washington counties. Right. Okay. So now we have to pay a little bit more attention now that we're in the, um, the watch. All right, then. Wonderful. So, definitely a weather aware evening, afternoon. So, if you are in the Oklahoma, the North, well, if you are in the Eastern Oklahoma, let's say the east side of Oklahoma City, between Oklahoma City and the Arkansas border, or if you're in Arkansas from the Oklahoma border um, to maybe Pines Bluff, Jonesboro area north and south. Make sure you're keeping an eye on your weather for the remainder of the day. Because, oh, oh, I just hurt my neck. Oh, oh no. Oh, can't move my head that way. Okay. Um, make sure you're being weather aware because you are all now in a tornado watch. make sure you have some way to get weather alerts and all that stuff. Radio, apps, charge your phones, charge your flashlights, make sure you have your shoes. Not your flip-flops, your shoes. Some kind of shoes. All I had were Crocs, but I ended up getting sneakers for Christmas, so I've got those nearby. Doggo leashes. The cats are going to be on their own because there's too many of them to catch in a quick amount of time. And I don't know if... I actually don't know if we have any of the carriers in the house. We have the kennel. But that thing's pretty big. We might only get two cats in there before somebody starts to try to escape on it. Like, the, the kennel would take up the entirety of the bathroom. That's how small our bathroom is. We don't really have an interior room here. Like, almost every room touches an outside wall. It's kind of ridiculous. I never understood this. Houses that are built in severe weather prone areas. Oh no, my truffles are melting. Oh no. Stop. It's not warm in here. Shit. Ooh. It's so warm in here. Like the the moussey fudge on the middle. Liquefied. Wow. I should probably get those in the fridge. Holy hell. That was unexpected. inevitably ends up in everything. But cats are pretty resilient creatures, so... Not too worried about them. I 
I mean, if we had like a walk-in closet or a storm shelter big enough to get everybody into, then yeah, no problem. If we ever move from this house and we end up staying in the south, I want a storm room. If at all possible. They really should be required on new constructions down here. I find it fascinating that they're not. Because there's only one shelter in town. And that's not always available. Because if schools, it's at the, the school. And if school's in session, the public's not allowed to use it. Because they use it for the school kids and stuff. So... They either need to add another one. Or they really should start making them mandatory. On all these new houses that they're putting in. We've been lucky. I think our town had like a small spin up, like probably like an EF0 since we've moved here. That kind of um, did some damage down a street a couple blocks down from us. In fact, I was in the middle of streaming that day. And the power just kind of went out. We didn't even get a warning on that one. That one happened so fast. But people were taking pictures and I was seeing later that they're like, yeah, that was like a an EF zero, like all of the power lines and telephone poles and trees were just snapped going down the street. I was like, wow. And um, that created some chaos for like a full day. And then there's definitely been funnel clouds spotted, like going over like a couple blocks in the other direction over the town at times. But we've been lucky to not have a serious issue. But you gotta wonder, how long is that luck gonna hold, you know? Oh, you weren't in the room. Um, we are in the tornado watch now till 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are in the tornado watch till 10 now. Okay. Okay. All right. This guy into there. I was gonna say, probably need to pop that up. Addie's still with her cousin, right? Are you talking to me? Yeah. What's up? Addie's still with the cousin? The dog's yeah. not back yet? Okay. As far as I know. Okay. Just making sure. One less thing to worry about here. Making sure the dog next door is still with family members. Nobody's told us otherwise that we were supposed to be checking on the dog again, so... Hopefully they still have it. Bring 
of that guy. That one's up there. Okay, so there's two trees in our little grove here. We have a few more to go. Ugh, moving that away did not do my neck any favors from yesterday. So let's see, let's pop back to, since things are quiet for the moment. Alright, so. We've got a few more tree friends to put into here. Alright, so probably need a few shorter guys. And then we'll get this guy. And let's see, he's gonna need to get that piece of fuzz out of him. That doesn't belong. And then, let's see, where's he gonna live? He's gonna live. Probably about there. Right. So these guys are just kind of bushy little doodles, so. Just gonna try to grab some small bits here. Just kind of poofball them a little bit. Not tight, not tight. Just a little bit here and just kind of tap them in. As we, I know that looked like really airy, but as we tap this in, it tightens up all those little fibery guys, and then suddenly it's not quite so airy as it looked. On these smaller guys, it's just going to be easier to deal with them like this. In the long run, just kind of let him do what he wants to do. I'm going to add a little bit more in there though, because this tree is 
all sorts of tripping. He's just a bushy thing, whatever we're gonna call it. He's all he's all over the place, so let's try to at least fill him out a little bit more. another little bit right in there. Alright, so these guys don't need to be super detailed because of where they're at, their distance and everything, so we can get away with them being a little bit more blob-like. Alright, gotta pop that guy up. And just re-flatten that down a bit. It'll just make our lives a little bit easier on the front section. Alright, and then we'll kind of work on doing the same thing on this other tree friend here. Getting this guy. Worked in here. So they go much faster when you can just do the little lobby doos. But the lobby doos don't work in all situations, so. Definitely have to be a little bit selective with when you decide to do the blobby guys. Alright, so I'm not gonna worry too much that these guys aren't quite down to the horizon line yet. I think we'll worry about that when we get there. Kind of situation now. We might have to worry about it sooner than later because when he brings in that other tree it comes down to about here so we might have to add some more of this color in or we might have to watch a little bit past him putting in the tree to see what color this needs to be back in here because we don't have the advantage of this being paint so it's not like we can just slap on some color and call it a shadow like we have to pre-plan what we're what we're doing, what's gonna go there and stuff, so it's a little more involved than just going at it with all the paint and in the mediums and stuff, so have to put a little more pre planning into this, shall we say. No, no, no. Let's 
work on getting... Oh, alright. Yeah, that guy's seen better days. We need to get some more some more fluff on him. He kind of looks like an alien in disguise. Alright. It's not looking half bad so far. I mean, it's definitely in a what's going on here. But it's it's not terrible. It's definitely beginning stages. For certain. So we've got a little more fluff and stuff. To add here. up near our treetop here. There we go, that's not so bad. Alright, I don't want to get too carried away on that one. Alright, so we've got three trees there. Four trees. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's got like eight or nine tree guys in here. We've gotten like four, so. Let's see about doing another blobby tree. We'll do this one a little bit taller. Or at least we'll try to. section looked a little looked a little loose there so it's alright come back in and just re tap that alright so we'll get that guy in there just gonna kinda pull apart our little sneak guy a little piece that we had left. Work on getting that put in around the bottom there. We've got a couple other, like, un unleafed trees, I guess, sticky trees. 
that we have to um, work in here too. carried away. It's these guys. Alright, one second again. some more fluff and stuff. And I'm not using a whole lot here. Not for this. Very, very small amount of fluff. You don't need it to be too overpowering. In this particular area. extra space in there. More than I really want there to be, so I'm going to fill that in. Just a little bit. Alright, we'll take our other little fluff start to get that one in place. And then we're just going to kind of work our way on up here. As we go. That one seems a little big. Cut that little fluff ball in half. Really start adding him into the mix. I mean, it's just fluff. If you think it's too big, cut it. It's fine. Not a big deal. You're not going to hurt its feelings. smooth out the back here. Our little backside carpet going here. See, it looks a little sim- like you can kind of see our clouds and and our tree shapes, but definitely the backside. here. 
It's got the window open, the fan's going. It's also got a mind of its own. It's also like, you'll never take me. Right, that piece of Fluff's grand escape was foiled today. Some has made great escapes before. I had a whole section that I was brushing. Uh, I had like a whole handful of yarn. I was brushing out on Saturday and I had like these light pink uh, pajama pants on that were fuzzy and I had gotten up to do something and I came back to pick up my handful of fluff because I had gotten interrupted and I'm looking all over the desk I'm like where'd the pink yarn go I actually for about two minutes was beginning to think I had finished fluffing it and added it to the bag and didn't remember doing so and I'm like where did it go I'm picking up everything on my desk I'm like it's a handful of yarn where the fuck could it have gone and I was about to get up to look on the floor and then I saw it sitting in my lap it was the same color as my pants I was like oh okay well that's where it went but um only I could lose a handful of yarn that was like this long like several strands like a good good number like maybe 10 or 15 but I'm in the middle of brushing out I swear all right so we got those guys and there's like two more little guys so I'm kind of making the trunk shape just so I have like a center line to uh, work off of. That's all. Nothing, nothing super important about having this, but it just is there to kind of help guide me. So this guy's going to be probably a little bit shorter. And this last one that we just did. Sorry, something's tapping on my desk and I don't know what it is. And it's tapping in time to me tapping, so I don't know. Oh, maybe it's my mat. I know it's coming from that direction. I just can't place what's causing it. Okay, it might have been my mat tapping. Like, what is happening? Stay. Alright. Okay, so we should be back to a fully normal streaming week this week. Um, or as normal as it can be for the time being. I have to talk to the husband to see if they have to change what day D&D is on. Although I don't know if the rest of the group can make a different day. Um, but as of right now. As of right now. So we won't be streaming. We won't have any scheduled streams. Let's put it that way. On Tuesday or Wednesday. Because that's the husband's days with our friend Tyler. Um, if I do anything on Tuesday and Wednesday, it's going to be late night. And it's not going to be scheduled. It's just going to happen. And we might be doing those soon. Because he really wants me to start on my side of the zoo. Um, so I might be starting my side of our challenge zoo then. It's not going to be anything planned or scheduled or anything but um, if 
if we do it, then, you know, just make sure that you're following on Twitter and that you've got your notifications turned on here. So that way you'll know. Making sure I didn't have any other black fluff sitting around before I pull out some more. That's all that was about. I was like, did I actually use it all? I don't see any. I mean, I've got that little piece over there, but it's already earmarked for something, so. So normally nothing's scheduled on Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday we're back into Coral Island. It's still in early access. We haven't had to restart yet, so that's good. Don't know if we will have to down the road, but so far we haven't. And I'm still enjoying that quite a bit. There's so much to do in that game right now, and they haven't even added more content yet. So, that's all sorts of good stuff there. And Friday we're working on the Solo Sandbox Zoo um, in Planet Zoo Stream, Streamline Park. I know, real creative on the name, but it seemed to fit, so. And I'm slowly, ever so slowly chipping away at that Frog House build. But I'm liking how it's coming out, even though I'm a slow builder. I'm enjoying that. Very much. And then Saturday afternoons, the husband's gonna be streaming on the channel. Probably around noon or 1 p.m. at the latest, somewhere around in there, um, where he's going to be working on his part of our um, challenge zoo, where we are trying to build the same thing on different side of the parks. Our, our little challenge accepted versus mode. We can't both build at the same time because we're both using my copy of Planet Zoo, so we're using um, Steam Family, so that's why we both can't be in there building alongside each other. So we each don't have our own copy. Does it seem kind of silly to buy two copies of everything when we could just do it through Steam Family Share? You know, that's a lot of money. When you get down to it. And we don't have that kind of money right now. Alright, so we got that. That's that one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we say he had. He's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got like nine trees in here. Um, I don't know if I really want that many trees. Maybe we'll do a small guy over here in the shadowy area. See if we can get him to, to show up. Don't know if we're gonna. We'll see. Alright. 
so let's not point that towards our face, child. All right. Let's get this kind of worked in here. This might be my last tree in this grove here. Just because we've got a lot of other stuff still to pop in here. But depending on how far down the next trees come, we might have to watch a little bit further and see how the ground's being handled so we can put those in properly because it's going to be easier with this medium to put the background in before we put the tree on top of it. It's going to be hell to try to get the background adjustments in around a potential um, tree trunk in the way, so. Can just barely make this guy out in here. Want him a little more shrubbery though. He's a little too skinny. A little bit of him we can see. It's going to be fully visible. Meow! Where are you? <laughs> she sounds so sad whenever she does that. She's like, the world is ending. Meow! No one's petting me for the past 30 seconds. Meow! is such a drama queen. Alright, so sorry this guy's a little bit harder to see going in. You can kind of make him out um, in person. But with all the light converging, he's kind of washing out a little bit. Not too much, but he's still there. He's still there. You can kind of see him in the shadows there. stopped updating. Alright, we're still okay. Though it feels kind of like we're in we're in the bullseye because we've got stuff um, starting to, there's a line starting to form in Tulsa that's kind of heading our way and then we've got stuff down to our south. Um, below Fort Smith that's kind of heading our way and it's just like, okay, all right, it's going to be a long evening. How about that? All right, no wonder I felt so sick last night. It's starting to come back a little bit again. I was like, oh, I thought we were done. I was starting to feel a little better. But then I moved my head funny. 
and I felt that that grab in my neck and I was like oh no 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 let's not add to the problems today please well, this guy's kind of standing off here all on his own well we might have one of those big trees kind of sitting we do Okay, so that's okay. We're gonna have a a big tree guy kind of sitting in the middle there. All right, that's probably good. Whoa, where'd you go, friend? Come back here. I saw it kind of fly. Sloth's trying to make a mad escape. What can I say? Alrighty, so. We've got some trees in there. Alright, let's take a look at where we're at in our tutorial here. And we'll see what we got happening next. So, we kind of made that bluish gray color that looked green when he added it up here. Okay, so he kind of took that down to to the horizon line here. And the one over here that's kind of hanging off the edge He took that further down. He took that down to like here. So let me get my pen. Just gonna put a little indication there. Alright, so now he's putting in some sticky guys. in between the bushy things. And then this sticky guy kinda comes down to about where that tree is sitting. Okay, so he did come back in. So he put that line in for anything else. Okay, see this is, okay. So it is a little bit on a curve. We, we were kind of right. Okay, if we can get... Okay, and then he flicked it up a little bit. Just to kinda... put the shadow in of the ridge line there. Okay. So, here's where we have to do a little bit of pre-planning here. So, I'm thinking, help me unhook you. So this is going to be a little bit... Gonna kind of slope down.
this is gonna kind of come across here and then so he's got this other tree kind of hanging out we might need to get some more blue left here. I'm just gonna kind of take that back around in there. All right. Okay, so let's take our black, right? gently make some more fiber snakes here. Don't want them to be too too thick. You gotta be careful though that you don't break your your snake too soon. Gentle, 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 but firm. All right, that's probably good. Okay, now. All right, so. We've got this guy kind of. hanging out in here and I'm just twisting this just to get them a little bit skinnier and I'm not holding this very tight but I am holding it right, so this guy's gonna come up a bit here. I'm just tapping in the clouds around it just so it's not quite so indented. Right, I think I'm going to sit over there for just a moment. There's that. I am going to use this guy again. I kind of want to put another sticky guy Whoop. See, that's kind of why you have to hold on to these guys because If you don't, the fiber is just going to do what it wants and it's going to grab everything and try to slam it into that spot. And that's fine if that's where you want it to go, but if you're trying to do something a little not that, then you are going to want to hold on to it a little bit better than I did there. So we got those two, which you can't really see all that well because they're in the, the dark part, but they're there. They are definitely there. What time did you have to help her? 
Okay, I didn't know if there was a set time you had to start or not. Is it something I need to do for you? No, I just got these insane suits. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought they were having spaghetti. No, we're having. Uh, he's having a, a meatball sandwich. Oh, okay. I saw that pulled out, so I wasn't sure what was what was going on. Okay, so we've got a few more of these guys that we want to get worked in here. I'm thinking we'll stick one guy in here. Again, as Bob says, if you don't want these, don't add them. I'm okay with adding these guys. These guys are pretty... Pretty simple. So that's not a problem. Oh, just so you know, I do have one dungeon quest that I untracked, but it is there. Okay. Because I can't do that. Yeah, I'll do it before. He's been helping me get through the quests in a dragon flight, because some of them I can't do because of the dragon riding, but... A couple of them I can do. But I want to unlock the ability to... <laughs> to actually start earning proper renown with the Tuskers in, uh, in Azure Span where I've been spending most of my time farming for stuff. But we haven't played through enough of the campaign yet. That makes things a little bit more tricky. He did some kind of side quest that kind of opened up a little bit of renown with them, but I don't think they're fully unlocked yet. Because I'm still not done the Waking Shore, which is that first zone when you get out there. had other things that needed my attention more. And you know, the whole dragon riding kind of killed my, my get up and go for that, so just kind of slowly poking along. Oh, that split a little too far. I don't know if I can bring that back. Maybe. I don't know, do we need another one? Nah, you know what, I'm gonna say that's, that's probably... That's probably good. I can just unsnake that. If I can get my fingers on it. There we go. Just, we'll just mush that back in with the rest of that. Okay. So we got those trays in. Now, I think we're gonna have to come back to our dark denim color, alright, and start adding in our extra ground cover. So that we can uh, get this, these other trees put in here. 
Right, so. Kind of grab. I'm just kind of, I'm not in the felt, I'm just kind of dragging across the top, and when I get to the line, then I'm kind of pushing down with whatever I've uh, swept up, shall we say. Whatever I've pushed back to the side there. And then our pen line's gonna vanish. As we are putting stuff in, it's gonna get covered up, so I'm not worried about that at all. That's not a big deal. You won't even know it was there. That time we get everything else sorted. And if there is any still showing on the outer edge, we can try to clean that up with either a little bit of fluff or when it comes time to trim down our our extra border here. So now we're back to, you know, the slow part of adding in some more background color. So sorry, but sometimes that's the way things work out. I probably could have taken this down that far to begin with, but I wanted to see how things were going to play out here as the tutorial itself advanced. Because I know how our sketch turned out um, based off of the final piece that I did that off of. Like, I did it off the end piece. We didn't do it together while the tutorial was playing. Because um, I really didn't need to do that for this because I was just trying to figure out the colors that we were going to use so that was more than fine for just our prototype our test piece so I kind of didn't write down what colors I used on that snow coming down the ridge so <laughs> I'm kind of sitting here like hmm what colors did I use again I mean, I think it was a combination of the medium gray and the soft gray. Sorry, I was looking at my notes. Because I have the... Um, the sketch sitting off to the side here open so I'm kind of looking at that I'm kind of looking at where we're at in the tutorial just kind of feeling out both both items on this one because this one was a little bit trickier for me to uh, get my head wrapped around like, normally they're not quite so bad, but this one felt a little more involved. Just because of the, um, the darker color palette with so many similar shades and stuff. So, that's why we had to executive decision some changes for the color usage. But it's all good. So it'll look a little slightly bit different than Bob's, but it's not going to be too much different there.
or at least it really shouldn't be different enough where it's going to be too much of an issue. Okay, so we do have a little bit of a thin spot in there. We'll, we'll deal with that guy in a minute. I'm going to finish getting our edge figured out here. Trying to keep to that crisp edge as much as I can because I don't want to necessarily lose that if we can help it. And we went all to it went to all that trouble to put him in, right? So and it's definitely been helping with our outer border edge so far. We do have that going for us. Alright, and it's just easier to extend this down now than to try to fix it later, trust me. That would just be so painful. So even though it's going to slow us down at the moment, it, it really needs to be done now. I didn't want to jump the head too far and confuse people if I put it in, if I brought the horizon down that far early, so. Because then we would lose where we were putting stuff up here too, so, you know. Let's get that pinky out of there. No pinky pokes. No pinky pokes, please. Okay. Let me pop you up here. Just grab any of this loose stuff that's hanging about. I'll just kind of tuck that into our little fiber, fiber trash bin. Oh, I got little fibers all over the place. I got it on my shirt. They're everywhere. Okay. So I want to fix this little splitty guy right here. Wow, he's a lot more noticeable in the camera. How about that? I can hardly see him in front of me. That should be a good amount to cover that up. And to fill this guy in. Again, my finger's just here to keep this from bunching up underneath of where we're working too quickly. I'm not like pushing like all of my weight down on it. My finger is just resting on it. Because we saw what happens if I let go too soon before I'm ready. Then it's just going to pull all of the fiber into that spot. See, kind of like a paper shredder, it's just eating all of it before we're quite ready for it to uh, do so.
Okay. We're still looking pretty good here. Things haven't gone quite off the rails yet. So that's a good thing. Very good thing. Okay. Oh, we should probably stretch for just a second. So if you've been sitting here nonstop, get up, stretch, go potty, grab a snack. All of the things I've gotten up a couple times to deal with other stuff, so I'm good there. But don't forget to take your stretchy breaks and get something to drink. We're probably gonna be going for an, at least another 45 minutes. Unless the weather pops off real bad, but it's pretty quiet right now. But there's more stuff coming. It drives me crazy that I have to have two different internet browsers going right now. But um, when I've got Twitch running on Chrome, sometimes it kills my dashboard feed, so I don't know what's happening there, which makes it really difficult when you go to raid somebody because then immediately you lose their feed. And it's like, um, I don't know if they're talking to me or not, and now I seem like I'm rude because I'm not answering them. So I'm having to run Twitch on Mozilla. And I've got the radar up on Chrome, so I can keep an eye on stuff there. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Although it could be my half-assed computer, just not having it, so I mean that's also possible. We're just trying to keep this thing functioning for as long as we can. Look at this. I've still I'm still finding glitter from Christmas. I mean, I glitterified those ornaments like the beginning of December and I'm still finding glitter everywhere. This is crazy. I'm sure there's still a ton of it on the floor under my desk. I haven't vacuumed yet. I haven't felt well enough to deep clean to that level in here yet. I definitely need to. Maybe one day this coming week I can take care of that. There's all kinds of dust bunnies under my desk. They're gonna start asking for food. And I'm gonna have to start charging them rent soon because they're getting so big. They're gonna end up getting names. I had to name one last night that we found on the floor. It was like, oh, well, all right. What the hell did I name him? I think I named him Roger. I don't know, I was in the middle of a migraine. Roger sounds about right. I didn't know what it was at first, and I was like, what is this? And I finally was able to bend down to pick it up, and I'm like, 
the husband was trying to clean a little bit and I'm like, how did this get out here? I'm like, did a dust bunny escape the room? And the husband's looking at it, he goes, oh, it must have fell off the broom. I was like, oh, okay. But I didn't know if one of the cats was playing with it and or if it just tumbleweeded itself out there all on its own. So we have like that fake wood floor. It looks like a wood floor, but it's like a sticker on top of stuff that's like slotted into it. I don't think it's necessarily parquet. Maybe the cheap generic version of it. I know we can't get it wet. <laughs> Because if the dogs take a drink and they leave a puddle and it sits for too long, the sticker on there <laughs> starts to uh, bubble a little bit. And I'm like, oh dear. And then we could probably do a mostly damp mop over it, but nothing that can sit like a puddle. Puddles are bad news. Overlaps into there and start to get this guy figured out. So, I'm probably gonna have to put a patch lane between these two spots. Just looking at how things have been going so far. stuff over here. Fluff and stuff. Alright. So you are gonna kinda pop into here. Probably still gonna have to put a little bit of a skinny patch in there. But we'll figure that out in a minute. Let's work on getting this guy into place first. actually got a fair amount of stuff done today. All things considered. Are they okay? Who? Your headphones, it sounded yeah. like they popped. No, they make a quick noise when they... Okay. Pop. He preemptively reinforced the new ones just in case. The new ones aren't exactly the same style as the last ones. 
and they felt a little vulnerable in the areas that he's having or that he's had to um, MacGyver <laughs> on his other pair so he just preemptively added some pipe cleaners and I think some electrical tape to the new ones just to make sure that uh, they didn't get silly too soon. I've been finding all these like flamingo skins for headphones and I'm like, oh, I want them. And then I'm looking at the headphones they fit and I'm like, oh, I can't wear them. They're, they're too bulky. Not gonna happen. And then there was much, much, much sadness. So if anybody sees or comes across a Flamingo PC case, let me know where you're seeing it. I'm sure I could get some Posca markers and just customize one side of my own. But at the same time, I didn't want Russell to get mad at me for doing that. Because <laughs> I didn't know if it would contribute to it, like, overheating faster or anything. It probably wouldn't. But, you know. He's more the computer techie techie person, so it'd probably be fine. But Poscas are actually pretty expensive too, so I don't have any and I would have to get them. And there's no way I'm just going to use straight acrylic paint because that shit's just going to scrape right off. That would be pointless, so that would be a whole lot of effort wasted for nothing. been looking and I've seen like flamingo pink cases but I haven't seen anything with like flamingos on it and I'm like really dang so we might just have to end up customizing the flamingo rig whenever we get around to getting the money to replace this one had a thin spot there that needed a little bit of patching. Okay, so there's that. So still, all in all, not not too terrible for what we've been able to get done here today. Some days I'm like, oh, we hardly got anything done, but not the case today. But then again, I also managed to get up early and managed to get started early. We were able to spend a little bit more time working on this guy. So that's always helpful when we can spend a bit more time on a project. Then just our two hour allotment when I get up late.
So, so far, feeling pretty good about where we're at. So what are you guys working on? Anybody working on any any projects? What are you guys up to today? Still, uh, still recovering from the holidays? Sorry, my, my radar timed out. It doesn't always update. And then after a certain amount of time, it's like, nope, you need a refresh now. But everything seems kind of quiet in the immediate area. I don't even see a thunderstorm morning at the moment. So that's good. That's good. But we're not going to completely drop our guard down for the night. We're going to have to stay on top of it and keep checking in. Until the watch drops. I mean, we're on the, the Code Red emergency phone call, so if the warning... If a warning comes and our address falls within the warning zone, shall we say, well, we're supposed to get a phone call. I think once we didn't get the phone call and we were like, why didn't we get the phone call? So I don't know if it went to his mom's cell phone and she wasn't here or there was a weirdness with the phone lines or something. I don't know, for some reason the one time we didn't get the call and we had to reset it up. But, um, so we just kind of try to keep an eye on stuff because our weather radio went kaput. ever move here one of my goals is to either have some kind of storm shelter or storm room or something safe room that we can get to easily whether it's through a garage or like a screened in walkway or something that's attached to the house somehow just to have a little bit of protection in case there's like debris flat flying and stuff. Although you should already be in your safe spot if debris is going to be an issue, but you know, just so you don't get completely drenched trying to get to the storm shelter and whatnot. And we don't really have a fenced in yard. So there's all kinds of wildlife and shit outside, but I would prefer it be a storm room in the house. That we can just access that way. We had looked into getting one at one point. Just didn't have the money for it because minimum for like three people I think was like five thousand dollars and there was just no way for us to come up with that at the time that we were looking at it One of the more nerve-wracking things about living down here. Although the two possible locations that we were thinking about potentially uprooting to have the same issue. to move back to New Jersey, but we just can't afford to. It's just 
too damn expensive. That's a long ways out, so... You don't have to worry about that for a while. Alrighty, so we're gonna have to... Put in some patchy things here. Like right in here. Doesn't have to be a big patchy thing. Just a small one. Sorry, my earbud. This this little thing where the wire splits on the earbuds keeps getting caught on the edge of my desk. So when I pick my head up, it's like trying to rip my earbuds out of my ears. Wireless would probably be better, but I don't know if this computer has Bluetooth on it, to be perfectly honest. It's not that new. I'm really not sure. So I just wanted to re-tap that down into place. Just make sure we were still looking pretty good. So re-flatten our fluff here. Alright, so we need a little patchy guy here. That folded up. Oh, there's a severe thunderstorm warning. Wait. Oh, there's two. Oh, those popped up. Alright, so that goes until 545. That's for Oklahoma, though. Um, so that's going to be southwestern Craig County, northeastern Oklahoma, central Rogers County in northeastern Oklahoma, western Mays County in northeastern Oklahoma, Northwestern Wagoneer County in northeastern Oklahoma. Sounds very confusing. So, make sure y'all are paying attention to your weathers. That one looks like that's going to go north of us. There's one that I'm watching right now that has a severe thunderstorm warning on it. That one's till 6. This one could potentially come up our way. So that one's for Southern Macintosh, Southeastern Oklahoma, and Northwestern Pittsburgh County in Southeastern Oklahoma. That one's for wind and quarter size hail. It's that second one that I'm kind of keeping an eye on because at the moment that's the closest one to us if the radar keeps moving in the direction that it's moving if nothing else pops up in between now and then could be the one that I have to worry about. I 
Get our patch put into place there. Alright, that looks pretty good. Grab another bit of fluff and stuff here. I just kind of pull it apart a little bit just to make sure all of the fibers are kind of just hanging out, and then I'll sneak it up. This guy, yeah, he looks like a good fit for that spot there. And again, I'm trying to overlap our bits of fluff here just so we don't look too outlined. It just kind of helps things be a little bit more seamless. at least as far as like the background color is going to go. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But so far with this color, it seems to be doing pretty okay. Well, I guess that wants to go there now, so... Well then. Well then indeed. I'm gonna have to look at that spot because I couldn't tell if there was a split in here or if it's just the way the light's hitting it. I need to get a closer look in there in just a second. I'm standing all around it and I'm not seeing too much of an issue, so it might have just been the way the light hit it. This felt does seem a little more crunchy. Probably because it's a little bit stiffer. Fadoofus. Okay. It's been a pretty nice afternoon into the evening here once all of the family chaos settled down for the most part. And I do apologize for that. There's only so much that can be done about that, though, so... Welcome to the chaos that is Nisi's life. At least you guys don't have to have... have access to, to the full chaos. You only get to experience the fringes of it. And that's, like, enough exposure, right? You, you all don't need don't need full access to, to this craziness. Trust me. Between my dad and his nonsense. The mother-in-law feeding into the chaos and making things worse. My mom getting pissy at everything else going on around her. And then husband and his anxiety. I 
like that's enough, right? <laughs> Oi. It's beginning to question why I had gotten up early. I was like, maybe I should just go back to bed. <laughs> but then I probably wouldn't be allowed to sleep, so. Especially because we only have the one car at the moment. The mother-in-law had to give her car back to her sister. It, it, it's a whole ass thing. Like I, I don't even understand why. Plans were not thought through on their end at all. Alright, so yeah, we've got almost this part filled in. Not too bad. Not too bad. I feel like my radar is not updating though, because I just happened to look over. Well, no, I guess it is. We're starting to get some showers filtering back in. In our neck of the woods. At least it's not as hot as it was in this room earlier. Like, it was like summer in here. And I can't sleep when I'm hot, so. It's like, what is happening? It's not supposed to be this hot here in January. All of my plants are going to be trying to to wake up because we left the ele oh 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 If the elephant ears survived, they're going to be trying to wake up. I forgot we had You know, I don't know if those bulbs survived. I guess we'll find out. We didn't really have the money to to spend watering them this summer though and it didn't rain nearly enough so now I'm I do wonder because we left them outside in the buckets we didn't winterize them I hope they survived <laughs> The good news is, is that like the minus 23 degree wind chill we had seemed to have definitely killed the wasps that had gotten into the shed if Russell had missed any with the wasp spray. Because when he went to put the outside Christmas decoration containers um, back into the shed. He didn't see any. So that's a plus. I suppose. And the lawnmower still started because he forgot to disconnect the battery apparently. I thought he had. I was like, what do you mean you didn't disconnect the battery? He goes, I forgot. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. So yeah, this weather keeps being crazy like this. We're gonna have to cut the grass again. Or too long. Hmm. That's a little bit of a thin spot there. Yeah, I think we're gonna patch that guy. So we might have just enough of this color to get through today. Definitely going to have to fluff more of this just in case I need more of it. 
This might be all that I need on this shade, though. Maybe. Maybe. I've got plenty of this color, though. Still have a fair amount of this left. I have no idea what that was. All I know is that it was a different shade than what should have been there. Probably picked up something from the mat or from my desk. Either is entirely possible. Alright, so they're just kind of, trees are just kind of floating at the moment as we're getting in our background color here a little bit further down because that sky kind of I think I've got glitter on my arm now I saw something sparkle out of the corner of my eye sorry it distracted me let's uh let's see what's what we can make happen here But yeah, so I, since I didn't know quite how far down to bring this, and this is going to have some of that snowy color in like our, our ground area, I just, I just, I'd rather have this layered this far down, even if we're going to cover it with something else here, just to make sure that we're good, you know? And then we'll just kind of work in the other stuff. And if any of this breaks through in the snow, it, since it's this dark blue, you know, we can just say, oh, it's shadows and stuff, and write that off there. You know what? This this felt this sheet. I guess this thickness, or maybe it's because of what it's been made out of, has been doing really, really well, and I'm actually really impressed with it because it hasn't been bunching in on itself like some of the floppy felt can. So perhaps if you try to do this, maybe look for um, the the felt that's got a little more body to it. It's hard to describe texture to someone, but you'll be able to feel the difference between the two. Now, I'm not talking the stiff felt, because there is stiff felt. And I haven't tried working with the stiff felt yet. Um, but, so like, like this is like the stiff felt. It actually is called stiff felt. Somewhere on here. Um, okay, I'm not seeing it on the label, but like on the shelving, it's called stiff felt. Like it almost feels like construction paper stiff, like maybe poster board stiff. It's definitely stiffer than this, and it's thinner. To kind of see, it's not that much thinner, but. They definitely have a different texture to them. This is definitely feels coarser than this one. I haven't tried working on this yet, so I don't know how this is going to work out, but I grabbed a sheet of it just to test it to see. This one is a lot more floppy than this one. And you can kind of see that the weave on this one's a little bit looser, this one's a little bit tighter, more put together. So yeah, like this one's like doop -a doop -a doo This one's not so much. Oh, almost lost my finger protector in the drawer.
Are you good? Are you waiting on me for anything? No, I'm waiting on your parents so I can make their soup. Okay. Just checking. The way you were laying there, I wasn't sure. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm for food. Yeah, I didn't know if I had to cook for you tonight or not. No, I think so. I just have to go to Okay. Alright, so we'll get this guy. We worked in pool here. It's definitely dark out now. It's getting dark for nighttime. Tell you, I don't like it getting dark this time of day. I really don't. I liked it better when it got dark around, you know, 8 o'clock. That seemed like a reasonable time for things to get dark at. At least to me. that up. Now it's kind of funny because up here the fiber looks like it's a lot shorter than when it when we first smoothed it out. Down here it seems a lot longer. Alright, so paint that up. Alright, so you don't have too much more to fill in here. A little bit. Should probably start filling in our edge here. As best as we can. Now remember, we're going to have that tree kind of coming in on this side, so this little unevenness that'll get dealt with with that. So I don't have to be too, too fussy in that particular area. I'm not sure, but one of my wind chimes might be missing. Can't find it. It might be in the house hanging up and I just didn't see it. But I had a little bouncy one that looked like a flamingo. And it had little wings on the side that like spun in a circle whenever the wind blew. It was tiny. I don't see it. So I don't know if it got brought in and I just didn't see it hanging up in the other room, or if our real bad wind the other day took it and sailed it somewhere and it flew away. I don't know. So I'm kind of hoping it didn't go too far. It could very well be hanging up in the other room, I just didn't see it mixed in with the other ones. And it got all smushed together on the same hook, so it is possible it's in here. I know I didn't see any evidence on the ground when I was outside checking.
But hopefully I'll be able to get those guys back outside tomorrow. That would be nice. They've been in here since before Christmas. And they had that real bad wind advisory. They were talking gusts like 50 miles per hour and I'm like, oh, that's gonna kill my wind chimes, because mine are a little bit more delicate than some of the other ones out there. So I was like, nope, 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 those need to come in. Because I can't really replace any of them. Because a couple we got on vacation. Who the hell knows when we're going to be able to go on a vacation again? I mean, I could try to find something on Amazon to replace it with, but... We don't have replacing wind chime money right now either, so... We know how that goes. Oh, that storm might stay up there. All the better if it does. All the better. did have a couple little thin spots become apparent here, so let's take care of those. While we're here. This guy all filled in. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with myself tonight. Depends on what the weather's doing. to get video edited, but I really don't want the power to go out when I'm in the middle of editing a video. It's really not high on my to-do list because I don't always remember to save very often. So I might have to save that for tomorrow. I know we need to fluff some more of this color. I don't know what else I'm going to do tonight. Can't really work on a bloodthirsty because, you know, weather. Oh, that went tornado warning. Is she it? Alright. Not for us, though. Still in Oklahoma. Where's my mouse? My mouse has vanished. There it is. So, I guess if... This is till 6.15. So the warning's for West Central Haskell County. Eastern McIntosh County and North Central Pittsburgh County in Oklahoma. Um, it's radar indicated rotation. I don't see a spotter confirmation, but it's getting dark, so it's gonna be hard to see it. So yeah, it's, it's south of Muskogee at the moment, so if y'all live in that area, you might want to be 
taking your precautions. Just saying. That is a thin spot. Right there, so we'll stick this guy on up into there. Could you check the water level in that pot for me? Yeah. I haven't checked it. It was doing pretty good last I saw. Okay. Because if they haven't had Russell make their dinner yet, I'm not going to be able to get out there to deal with mine, so we might as well keep going a little bit longer. Alright. Okay. That's looking... Pretty good in there. Getting this all tapped into here. So what are you guys doing for dinner tonight? Or did you already do dinner? Oh damn, that one went toward Attic too. Shit, shit's popping off. Still in Oklahoma though. So, since y'all are sitting here watching me and I don't know where y'all are at. This one's still 6.15 too. This is for Southeastern Craig County. Um, West Central Delaware County in northern Mays County in northeastern Oklahoma. Um, again, radar, indi in radar indicated, but it's dark out now. It's going to be really hard to see stuff. Don't fuck around, or you might find out the hard way. Um, so go, go take your precautions, okay? If you're in those areas. Please be careful. And if you're not in those areas, I'm sorry that I'm sharing along the warnings and stuff. But maybe somebody's sitting here and they don't know. And since I need to pay attention to the weather, I might as well share it. Could make a difference if you know somebody that lives in those areas, in those counties. Call them. Maybe they don't know. Right? Because with all the streaming services and stuff, people might not be paying attention. And if they don't have location serve, or if they don't have the um, emergency location broadcast thingy turned on on their phone, then they're not going to get that message either. So just be careful. Turning into a wild weather evening. So what's that? Our fourth tornado warning in the area. So far today. You okay? Yeah. Husband was heading outside and I didn't know why. So that spot's being a little fussy about filling in. So we're gonna put another little 
Hachi guy over there. Smells like whatever he's cooking is burning in the kitchen. Smell of burning grilled cheese is not a flattering smell, or not a good smell. Unless you really like your burnt bread. I guess. It smells pretty crunchy though. Alright, this is a little big for this spot here. Let's go ahead and trim that. And we're gonna patch up this guy. I know we've got that tree coming in here, but I'm just not certain that the tree is gonna fill in there. So I'd rather just take care of it now. On my own. See, that looks like a spot in there. I'm trying to be a thin spot, so. I just want to fill him in now and just be done with it. So. I don't have too much left to fill in here. See what we can do. Oh, did they cancel it? There's two here. Did you know there's a Disney Oklahoma? Is that not crazy? I can't tell. Okay, the one warning disappeared, but there's still another warning there. Now we've got a severe, a couple different severe thunderstorm warnings. You all just go check your radar. They're starting to get really wild. It's starting to get a little numerous. This isn't supposed to be a weather stream. I don't know enough about the weather for this to turn into a weather stream. Okay, all I know is enough that on days like this you fucking pay attention to the radar and the warnings and all of it, so. My goal was to finish filling this in before we called it a night. So hopefully the weather will hold out well enough. For that. But we'll see. We kind of feel like we're under the gun with the way all these these uh, polygons are starting to head in our direction. So that's a little nerve-wracking. Just, uh, just a bit.
Alright, so this section of fluff was a little bit thicker, so it's going to take a little bit more tapping to get all of that worked into there. But so far, so good. Sorry, my radar screen flashed and I was like, uh oh. Now what? It was just updating the scan. Doesn't look like there's anything new happening there. And nothing's in our viewing area, so our news isn't going to be on just yet tracking that stuff. It's not close enough to the border, though it depends on which weather guy it is. One of them likes to come on and just kind of hang out with people, keep an eye on stuff. Alright, so we have just a little bit more that we need to fill in here. But it sounds like their dinner's just about done, and I'm getting super, super hungry, so. I think the only thing I had to eat today so far was that one truffle from earlier when I found out they were melted in the middle. I really should go get those in the fridge. I still haven't done that yet. Maybe the freezer would be a better idea. Alright, so get this guy tapped into here, and then we just have that one little bit left. And then we'll be looking pretty good here. Oh, you know what would be fun? Well, I don't know if it'd be fun. It'd be a lot of work. Um, but to follow one of these and get a shadow box frame, right? So you've got you've got the depth in there. You know what the shadow box frames are, right? They're they're like an inch, inch and a half deep, depending on the shadow box. And then do your background and put that in there. And then, like, get um, deer clouds, but like fluff them separately, like if, as if you were making a figurine. And then get like little tiny bits of foam board and maybe paint the foam board the same color as the fluff or close to it that you're putting in and kind of just take with a little bit of, a bit of hot glue just you know put a little dab on the on the fluff and a little dab on the background and sit it in just so it's bumped up just a little bit and then have each layer bumped up a little bit more. That would be fun. It'd be a lot of work. Though. But that would probably be pretty cool. But 
I don't have any shadow box frames, so. But that would be pretty interesting. It might work, it might not. Just an idea. So a lot of you might want to do something that has like some some stencils that you can work with or um, make your own templates or something for that just to make your life a little bit easier but you can also get they also have stencil blanks if if you can afford them, or, you know, just a piece of cardboard, whichever you want to do. Stencil blanks might be a little bit easier to cut. But that could be a fun little project there. Maybe, maybe, kind of, sort of. So there, look, we're almost done this section. We've just got this little tiny bird head shape left to fill in. I'm not going to worry about patching that spot. Oh, that filled in anyway. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Never mind. Never mind then. Alright, so just to have this guy left to fill in and I'm gonna let him be a little bit bigger on purpose just so we can get this piece filled in here pretty good we still ended up having enough fluff so I must have compacted that bag pretty good So we'll see about getting some more of that refilled into there. I don't think we're going to need it anymore on this project, but it's always good to refill the fluff bags as needed since we use so much of it. If it doesn't get used on this project, well then it'll get used on the next one. No big deal. advancing again. Alright, so not too much to be terribly concerned with. Hopefully you're paying attention to the weather in your area at this point. If you're not and you're in my area, you really should at least go check in. As much as I love having you guys here, I want you to be safe. And I know people could be from all over the place, so... Just want to make sure everybody's being careful. Alright, that looks like that's pretty well attached there. Alright. So we did pretty good today, guys, progress-wise. So we finished getting in our uh, 
our, our sky background, we got in our clouds, we got in some trees, and we got in the next little bit of horizon area. So I'm feeling pretty good with where we're sitting so far. Um, we'll pick this back up on Sunday, is our next art day. Um, let's go and see John. And I haven't paid John a visit. You know what, let me make sure John's still, still streaming. Sometimes, sometimes that one feature isn't always up to date. Which is kind of annoying. Yeah, he's still going. So he's doing Final Fantasy. So let's go say hi to John. And I thank you guys for hanging out with me this afternoon. And uh, I will see you all on Thursday. So until then, have a good one.